Hello, my name is Adora and you're welcome to my channel. And if you're just coming across this channel for the first time, thank you very much for stopping by. So recently I was just discussing with a friend of mine um, who also resides in the UK and we were just discussing life generally about, you know, living in the UK. She was telling me her stories, uh, her struggles, um, um, just her, in fact, everything about her um, since she came into the UK, how it has been so far, what she's enjoying, what she's not enjoying, her regrets, her testimonies, everything in general, she was just sharing it with me. And then um, listening to her actually made me understand that, well, you know, sometimes when you hear other people discuss their stories, you just know that you are not alone. And it gives you this encouragement to strive further. So my friend has been in the UK now for about four years. And then um, sometimes I, when we discuss, I can read that tone from her voice that um you know she's it's like she, to her you know from the way she speaks sometimes she's like ah if she has her way she would just go back home she would just but the reason why she can't go is because of you know certain sacrifices she has to make certain things that will not just permit her to just uproot herself right now from the uk and go back home so she just has to stay and then fight it all so um, I always try to encourage her that, listen, it's never easy anywhere. It all depends on the effort you put in and how determined you are to fight it out in that particular land. Like I, for one now, um, I've been in the UK now, it's almost 10 years and I am still struggling in certain things. Like I still have my own areas where I am struggling till date. Like I can't even believe that. After almost 10 years, I have not gotten used to it. And one particular thing I struggle with every time is the weather. Like, I can't just get used to the cold. Some people will tell you that with time, you'll get used to it. But honestly, I cannot get used to the cold. But apart from that, yes, yeah, some other areas I have, I just have to get you. Like, you don't just have a choice. You just have to get used to it and move on. And you see, some of the things that we struggle with that we just have to adapt to irrespective of how difficult it is is some of these points i'll be reading out to you so that in case you are also in these shoes you know that you are not alone it's a general thing but it all depends on how well you are able to manage it so point one unless your father is very rich or you've got a very huge savings back home and you are importing money into the UK from back home then fine you can sit back relax and keep sipping your tea and don't have to do anything about it but apart from that if you know you don't really have any large means of savings back home or if you know you've just come to the UK to also to seek greener pastures you must work you must work for it this place is not a place where you just um, relax and, and and say that by faith you know manna is going to fall from heaven or you just sit down and you close your eyes and you expect some kind of favor or miracle yes i do believe miracle happens but for god's sake you've got to work for it here you if you do not work you will not eat like i have never really experienced a situation in my life before i moved down here where you have to like depend it's either you're depending on your job like monthly you are depending on that income or you are depending on your business if you are self-employed like you are focused you are waiting at the end of the month this is what i am expecting to get from here they, it's not coming from any other place or from anywhere else like it's not coming from family it's not coming from friends who is going to give you Everybody is trying to struggle. Everybody is trying to survive. Everybody is trying to find their feet. So nobody is like going to keep some money there and you just call uncle or auntie and say, send me money. Like here you are strictly on your own. That is one major um, blow that hit me when I first relocated to the UK. Another one is that you must learn to live within your means. Now, I always say that UK is a humbler like it will humble you it will really really mold it will tame you no matter how high and mighty you think you are when you come to the uk you will learn to live within a certain bubble now 
some people are used to this flamboyant lifestyle they're used to spending they're used to exploring places going places spending money throwing the cash here and there which is fine but if you live in a place like uk where you've got a lot of um responsibilities a lot of expenses a lot of bills it, a lot going out and not much coming in you must learn to live within your means honestly when i came in here initially the first two years i wasn't really i didn't get used to it so i used to like you know spend carelessly you know i used to it was not as if i was the money was flowing everywhere it wasn't as if the money was like it's not as if i was so rich or whatever but I didn't know how to manage the little I had so sometimes when I even have some money just coming to my hand the next thing I'm going shopping or the next thing I am I'm, I'm thinking in fact sometimes even before the money comes I'm already thinking of where and how to spend it but as time went on I it dawned on me that listen you just have to cut your coat according to your size you have to live within your means here if you do not need a three bedroom house you do not need it there's no point going for it if you do not need a two bedroom flat you do not just need it there is no need going for it save that money cut those costs and another thing I have also learned which will also open your eyes from time to time if you're thinking of relocating to the UK is that there are varieties of places where you can do your shopping. I remember when I moved into the UK, I used to shop only in Tesco's, like Tesco, because number one, that was one of the shops that was kind of closer to my house. And then later on, when I discovered, when a friend of mine actually told me about Aldi, and she said, ah, Aldi is also very nice, though, and their things are very, very cheap, you know, very affordable, this one, that one. To me, I felt like because it's, it was said that the place is cheap, that means maybe their products will be fake. So I thought maybe because it was very cheap or uh, really affordable, it's of um, substandard qualities, of low quality and all that. So back then, my interpretation of cheap or, or, of, or, or less costly was uh, fake. And, but I got to understand that no, that's not how it works. Aldi is made for everybody. It all depends on your income. And here, everybody, everybody, you cut your quotes according to your size. So when I discovered the difference in prices between me going to one shop and then Aldi, I was like, oh my God, can you imagine how much I have been losing, throwing away, all in the name of shopping weekly. So that was when I decided to downsize and I and come back and come down to Aldi. And honestly speaking, everything I get from Aldi till date, they are all very good. They are all in good conditions. They are all fresh. They have the best of vegetables and foods. So I was just thinking to myself, so why was I going to Tesco's all this while? Also, don't overhype yourself too much to avoid unnecessary expectation. Like, I, for one, I'm not even the kind of person that likes to show off. I'm not the type of person that will take a picture and come and flash it all over social media or I will snap myself maybe in a car or snap myself entering a plane or whatever. I'm not, it's really not my kind of thing. So I, I am not the kind of person that will even want to even let you know what's going on around me. I, I could be very private if I want. But I see, when I see some people sometimes, that like to show off this kind of lifestyle you want to you, you overhype yourself to people back home especially you give this impression that all is well with you you give this impression that you are very comfortable you're very rich that you know it's just very very rosy and you have this soft life by the time they start expecting from you because you've already painted a beautiful picture to them you've already painted an expensive picture to them so their expectation of you is quite high and they're expecting you to live up to that expectation before you know it this burden falls on you to now start overworking yourself to now start overstressing yourself because of course you have to live to their financial expectation I am not saying you should act like a pauper or you should pretend to be a pauper so that people will not think highly of you or so that people will not expect from you. But what I'm trying to say is that you should not paint yourself the picture 
that you are not because by so doing you are giving this impression that everything is really perfect with you and that you are rich so if someone comes to you tomorrow to say okay could you please send me um one thousand pounds or at least five hundred thousand pounds and you say no i'm sorry i can't send it because i don't have it they won't believe you and before you know it this is how a limit is starts because they feel oh you have and you don't want to help now if you are trying to help or if you want people to believe or to if you want to put yourself in the shoes of people so that they will not expect that okay you have but you don't want to help them try as much as possible to bring yourself to the level where they will not expect so much from you it's as easy as that also it was on getting here that i discovered that um if you want to build your credit history if you want to be able to get um big loans in the future or if you want to be able to get help financially maybe from the bank or whatever you have to borrow like you have to you have to build your credit history and the only way you can build a credit history is by borrowing by getting those credit cards and some little little loans here and there and be able to pay them back that is just what i mean now i'm not the kind of person that likes to borrow i don't really like it when debtors are chasing me up and down and i'm trying to like hide because i cannot afford to pay back and all that i'm not really that kind of person i don't like that kind of discomfort in my life but it all changed when i got in here and i was told that listen even if you want you know a loan for a mortgage in the future or you want loan for set something a, a major project in the future if you don't have a credit a good credit history you cannot be approved and how do you have this credit history first of all by borrowing first of all by getting these credit cards first of all by getting these loans that you can pay back so that in future when you now need help from any government or any company organization that you know is ready to back you up financially it will be very very easy for you to get that but first of all what do you do you borrow and this was something i wasn't very very used to but yeah i pay i, I am now and see myself collect one credit card or the other just to be able to build your credit history so this country is just structured in a way that i don't know there's this kind of protocols everybody just has to follow like it's just like you cannot really do your own thing just the way you want it you must follow certain guidelines to be able to achieve certain um, results that's what i've discovered so another point which actually um, resonates with a lot of us especially, especially a lot of us we nigerians that come from home over to this place i hear a lot of people say oh i want to work i will work i will work i will i want to make money i want to struggle i want to i want to this i want to do that so i can go and you know build this in nigeria i can go and build that in nigeria i can work 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 honestly speaking most of the people i have seen that really work over work themselves taking endless shifts from one place to the other from one agency to the other they're working in the morning as they're finishing at night they're going for the night shift as they're coming back the next morning they're going for the evening shift they just they work all around the clock most of them are nigerians and i have this to say to you in as much as it's good to work like i've said this is a country where if you don't work you will not eat in as much as it is good to work it is also very important to take care of your health it's very important to have time for yourself because when you overwork yourself and you put in that stress when you increase your stress level and you slump and die that's the end your company is going to get someone to replace you in because the next two days you already have a replacement that's number one number two your family will likely mourn you for three to four months and they've forgotten about you life goes on so what am i saying as much as you want to make money you want to struggle you want to hustle you want to be rich you want to be comfortable you want to be wealthy take it easy just take it easy because no amount of money you make is going to follow you down to your grave when you slump so that's it for the uk uk living in the uk can be stressless if you understand all the protocols guiding it it can be stress-free if you understand the principles i came to understand that no matter how you rush things here everything has a time and a process you must follow everything has a procedure you don't just do things because you want to do it i remember when i was I remember when I, I came into the UK, 
all through my application i was trying to get my application my, to remain in the uk and all that they all had they all, there was nothing like oh you know some there's someone or maybe you have a connection and the person is going to help you this over the at the office or at the embassy or one thing you have one connection or you know somebody that knows somebody that is going to help you press some buttons nothing like that here you will follow the procedure you will follow the protocols even when you get to the bus stop and you see people standing and waiting maybe queuing for a bus or for the train or whatever you will have to stand in the queue all this molded my mentality it changed my mentality to think that no matter how in a hurry you are everything has a time and place for it so if you know all these things it helps in reducing your stress level because sometimes i see people saying oh they're stressed out they're stressed out uk is stressing them this one and funny enough i see people come from eu you know like all these european countries i see a lot of our black people that move from european countries to the uk and when they come here they struggle when they come here they they complain they're like ah uk is very hard though over there where i'm coming from it's not as hard as this you know over there it's a bit um stress-free it's a bit loose uk is too tight uk is too and i'm like well that's the price you have to pay for living in a country like this but once you you you, you, you come into the system and you adapt and you figure out how things work i assure you it's going to be very very easy it's all a matter of patience it's a matter of time and it's also a matter of learning you learn every day in the uk no one is perfect there are people that have been in this country for years when i mean years i'm talking about 15 20 years there are a lot of things they still don't know like even when you're telling them certain things exist they're like oh really because it's a learning process that's all i have to say so thank you very much for watching my video today uk is an interesting place to be if you know how to follow the procedures thank you very much subscribe to my channel thank you very much and please share god bless you